Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It is Thursday, January 19th, 2023. Here's what's happening today in America. The debt ceiling needs to be raised. It's the most meaningless ceiling in the world. Al Gore blows a gasket again. Facebook has freed the nipple. And a Philadelphia flyer taking a stand. And Bill will be back with the message of the day. But first, here comes the first talks of raising the debt ceiling. The Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said we'd run up against the debt ceiling well, today, which forced the Treasury Department to take extraordinary measures that can push the disaster back until June. Speaker Kevin McCarthy wants to resolve this now by cutting spending. Biden doesn't want to do that. He wants to raise the debt limit, which we have done 78 times since 1960. What's the point of having it if we just keep raising it? Al Gore, speaking at the World Economic Forum in Davos, where he said, we are still putting 162 million tons of greenhouse gas into the atmosphere every single day. And the accumulated amount is now trapping as much extra heat as would be released by 600,000 Hiroshima-class atomic bombs exploding every single day on the Earth. That's what's boiling the oceans. This is Al Gore. He's losing it. That's what's boiling the oceans and creating the rain bombs and sucking the moisture out of the land and melting the ice and raising the sea level and causing these waves of climate refugees. So Al Gore's doing well. Facebook and Instagram will allow the nipple to be freed, sort of, only if you are transgender or non-binary. Recently, Instagram took down a post from a woman who had top surgery, so had her breasts removed, and another woman who was uh, non-binary. And they took down the picture because it was explicit. But then the company Meta, Facebook and Instagram, uh, they said topless posts from transgender and non-binary people will now be allowed because the original ban impeded the right of expression for trans and non-binary people. A hockey player on the Philadelphia Flyers refused to join his teammates during pregame warmups wearing rainbow jerseys and using hockey sticks wrapped in rainbow tape supporting the LGBT community. Here's what Ivan Provorov said after the game. I respect everybody's choices. My choice is to stay true to myself and my religion. That's all I'm going to say. We'll see if he gets fired or if the power of the woke crowd is waning. Bill will be back with the message of the day. Inflation at its highest level in 40 years and interest rates are skyrocketing, as you know. Market experts like Jamie Dimon, CEO of J.P. Morgan, predicting recession. So to protect your future, do what I did. Call the only precious metal dealers I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. You can get started with a short phone call. They will place physical gold and silver right at your door or inside your IRA or 401k. They are the highest rated firm in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied clients. Please tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you and they'll give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Don't wait. You can call them now. 877-444-GOLD. 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. There is heartbreaking video I showed last night on my TV broadcast, The No Spin News, showing three sisters ages 7, 5, and 18 months being rescued by Mexican authorities on the southern banks of the Rio Grande River. The girls are crying, no adults in sight. Thousands of unaccompanied minors have been caught up in President Biden's insane lax border policy. Migrants attracted to the border because they believe they can easily enter the USA have absolutely no control over their destinies. Some make it here, some die in the attempt. The Mexican cartels do whatever they want to these defenseless people. President Biden and the Democratic Party look away, failing to even address this enormous human rights danger they themselves have caused. Millions of people are at risk, not to mention Americans who are getting hurt 
by uncontrolled immigration. Yet President Biden does nothing. He fiddles while abandoned little girls cry in the bush. By the way, Mexican authorities have placed them in foster homes. Nobody knows who their parents are. This is horrific and should spell the end of Joe Biden's credibility as well as a progressive movement which demands open borders. But it will not because the corrupt press remains invested in the president and his far left masters. In fact, this little girl story was not even covered by the liberal media. It's almost impossible to digest. I'm Bill O'Reilly, and I approve that message by writing it. If you'd like more Honest News analysis, please visit BillOReilly.com. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Bill at BillOReilly.com. That's where I live. Name and town, if you wish to opine. Let's go to the mail. Peter, I get progressive's basic premise, America is a terrible country, but assuming the truth of that for a moment, Why do they want so many poor and suffering people to come here? And why would those migrants want to come to such an awful place? Number one, we are the leader in the world in opportunity, even though everybody knows that, the migrants know it. And number two, poor people usually sign up for the Democratic Party because they are the party of entitlement, which is why they want poor people to come here. Ron Jajak, Cortland Manor, New York. Bill, would it be worth the House initiating impeachment or is it merely a waste of time? Pens. Impeachment sends a message. If you're going to go after a, you know, Mayorkas, the Department of Homeland Security chief, that's a waste of time. With Biden, if you get something from these House committees, depends what it is. You know, Senate's not never going to convict, but it does get people's attention. Michael DeNoia, Philadelphia, those on the political left are harmoniously stating that raising the debt is to pay for appropriations approved by Congress for spending in the past. I was under the impression that raising the debt limit is required before Congress can pass appropriations above the limit to be spent in the future. It's complicated. Okay, we have obligations here. So people buy bonds that has to be paid off. Okay, America is running out of money to pay those debts. So are they future payments? Yes. But the bonds are bought in the past. So that's the problem. Democrats don't want any limits on spending at all. They want to bankrupt the economy because then the government would have to step in and run the economy. And that's what the progressives want. In a moment, something you might not know. This is a special alert to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles with an auto warranty about to expire or with no warranty coverage at all. Due to a decline in the economy, CarShield is announcing a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that is now available to the public to save any driver out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. Call now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Yes, you heard that correctly. Pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. An open phone line has been established for all drivers to call for a free quick quote. Call 800 800-925-7584 now. Drivers who are covered will not have to pay for covered repairs again. This protection plan is at an all-time low. Additionally, drivers who activate this vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. Call us for your free quick quote today. 800-925-7584. That's 800-925-7584. What do you have to lose? Call 800-925-7584. Again, 800-925-7584. Now, the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. The global tourism industry suffered catastrophic losses when COVID hit in April 2020. Before the pandemic, 50% of all Americans took at least one family vacation each year. Average cost $2,000. For the super rich, a growing trend this year, 2023, is what travel agents call ultra premium destination. If you have extra cash, here are the most expensive hotels in the world as ranked by Prestige Magazine. First up, New York City's Plaza Hotel. A one-night stay inside the Royal Suite will set you back $40,000. The three-bedroom apartment has its own library, elevator, and gym. It also boasts great views of Central Park. Next, the Conrad Hotel in the Maldives Islands. 
A two-story villa there costs 50,000 bucks a night. The suite includes an underwater bedroom and 24-hour butler service. I guess the guy comes in scuba equipment. I don't know. The top three start with the Lukaila Island Resort in Fiji. Its hilltop estate is $65,000 a day. The accommodation include two separate houses, a private chef, chauffeur, and your own waterfall. Number two, the Palms Casino Resort in Vegas. The Empathy Suite has two floors, a 13-person bar, its own movie theater. The outdoor balcony can accommodate more than 50 guests. The room costs $100,000 a night. But it's free if you're a millionaire and you put down a big amount of money to gamble. Then you get this thing free. But it's an enormous amount of money. They won't tell me how much, but you can just guess. The most expensive hotel in the world, Lover's Deep Luxury Submarine in St. Lucia, the Caribbean. The rooms are located in an actual submarine. The underwater voyage also includes a private helicopter to fly guests to restaurants on the island. One night aboard the sub costs 235,000 bucks. And here's something else you might not know. For those on a budget, let's go camping. The number of Americans enjoying the great outdoors up 25% compared to 2019. Back after this. Let me introduce you to a company that does things right. Grip Six makes belts right here in the USA. And those belts are incredible. They are infinitely adjustable. Let me repeat that, infinitely adjustable. Their patented system means they always fit right and feel great with no holes, ugly hanging strap, or extra bulk. They are so easy and comfortable to use, and they look great. If that weren't enough, they are guaranteed for life with unmatched customer service and fast shipping. Buy a Grip 6 belt, you will never have to purchase another belt again, and you'll look great, and you'll be supporting American manufacturing from the ground up. So please go to grip6.com. Make sure to use the code BILL20 at checkout to get 20% off your bill. That's G-R-I-P, the number, 6.com. Code BILL20. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you. (laughs) 